The point that I want everyone to understand is that the reason that the Bears are in a position where their quarterback room now has Nick Foles and Andy Dalton in it is because the general manager has not been capable of doing his job. It's that simple. You knew it at the end of the season. Everyone knew it at the end of the season, except for the people who were in charge of determining the future of Ryan Pace's career at the Bears. They wanted to give him another swing at it. And my question then and my question now is why? What is it that he's done in his career as general manager of the Bears that says to you he deserves another opportunity to pick the future of your franchise? They should have fired him today. When he came back with everything's on the table, here's Andy Dalton. They should have said, thank you very much. We're going to let someone else run our draft. We know that there's only six weeks until the draft. We're going to let someone else run it. You've paid for the same quarterback three times now. The same dude, three times. Between Mike Glennon, Nick Foles, and Andy Dalton. It's the same dude. There are degrees, but it's the same dude. There's no real reason to even get Andy Dalton. And if you're only getting Andy Dalton so that you can sell it back to the Bears fandom and say, well, this is what we got. What it tells me is that you made a mistake last year in going out and getting Nick Foles, trading capital for him, by the way. Oh, and remember that that compensatory pick? Like, you lost the compensatory pick because of this, too. So it tells me that you made a mistake in bringing in Nick Foles. You're going to allow Mitchell Trubisky to go to free agency. And I know people don't want to hear this, but it's the truth. He's better than both of those guys. He's not great, and he's probably not even good, but he's better than both of those dudes. And you've made the decision that you're going to move on from him to what? To what? To a guy that failed with more offensive talent than you have on your current roster. It is, it is maddening what the Bears have been trying to sell to you under Pace's tenure. It is maddening that that guy won't answer a question squarely when he has posed real questions about what his decision-making process is like. He won't give you a square answer, but he will make sure that it leaks all around the football community on how hard he tried. How hard he tried to get Russell Wilson. How hard he tried to get Jameis Winston. How hard he tried to get Trent Williams. For all that trying, the result was nothing. The result was Andy Dalton. So guess what, Ryan? Your best isn't good enough. And it hasn't been good enough. For years. The only good thing about this, the one good thing about the Andy Dalton signing is that it's one year. That's it. That at least at the end of this, you can get from out under it. But they say they signed a quarterback that they didn't even need. And he's not good. And they're going to try to sell it to you just the way that they tried to sell you on Mike Glennon and then turn right around and and drafted Mitchell Trubisky. They're going to try to sell it to you the the way they tried to sell you on Mitchell Trubisky taking steps forward. They're going to try to sell it to you the way they sold you Nick Foles last year. And now here's Andy Dalton. If you're mad at me because, Lawrence, it takes two people to make a deal and the Seahawks clearly didn't want to make a deal, okay, you're right. But I want you to remember that the reason that the Bears have to walk out here like a beggar 
to the rest of the NFL is because your general manager has gotten it wrong. He keeps getting it wrong. He deserves no sympathy from you. He deserves no cookie from you that he tried. Get out of here with that nonsense. This is big boy business. This isn't a first year general manager. He's been on the job for almost a decade. He doesn't deserve your sympathy. He should be thinking about you. He should be thinking about team building. He should be thinking about all the things that he's gotten wrong. And what does he keep doing? Doing the exact same damn thing. So I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear from the Ryan Pace sycophants in the media. I don't want to hear from anyone nationally talking to me about how hard he tried. No one cares. This is a results-based business. And the results have been bad for you when it comes to you trying to find a quarterback. And guess what? When it comes to putting together a football team, that's the most important part. And you've gotten it wrong consistently, year after year after year. You've gotten it wrong. And now you come here to Bears fans and you say to them, here's Andy Dalton and Nick Foles. Get out of here with that nonsense. And because you've mismanaged the salary cap, and while there aren't any real big penalties league-wide for kicking the can down the road, your second biggest mistake, because number one was the, the trade-up for Mitch, your second biggest mistake was this contract that you wrote for Robert Quinn. It's not that you signed Robert Quinn. It's the way that you structured the contract that now has you in a position where either Kyle Fuller goes and signs an extension, which would be great, or you have to cut one of your best players. This is why I didn't want him being any part of this offseason with the Bears. It meant that there were too many variables and too many things that he needed to get right. And there's a history of him not getting things right. So I'm, I'm not here for any of the excuse making that is going, there's already started. I've already seen it. I've already seen these national people that he's clearly leaking the information to. Tell you how hard he tried. When, when, when. What you didn't do was succeed. You didn't get it done. How can George and Ted this morning be excited about the state of their football team? How? And, and George will talk to you about going to talk to fans in the South lot. Who are you talking to this morning, George? Because any Bears fan, even if they do want to give Ryan Pace the, well, at least he tried, will tell you that this has been a debacle. Who are you listening to? You made that guy your football guy. And you know what he's giving you? Mike Glennon, Mitchell Trubisky, Chase Daniel, Tyler Bray, Nick Foles, and Andy Dalton. That's your football guy. That's what he gave your franchise. That's the building block that he started with. Those quarterbacks.